The Scorpio placements in your chart, whether that's your Sun, your Rising, your Moon, your Venus, your Mars, even your Saturn, are going to be some of the most karmic placements in your chart. And the reason being is because those planets are in the sign of Scorpio, the most intense, passionate, karmic, life and death type of energy out of all the 12 zodiac signs, out of all the 12 different consciousness. So naturally, regardless of where your planets are, where your placements are, if you have Scorpio placements, they will dominate your life. They will penetrate your life. They will make you go through life and death constantly. And I mean this metaphorically, and you can have some very intense, painful experiences that really shape you to be this wise sage, this wisdom keeper, somebody who holds so much knowledge and who holds a lot of spiritual power. Now, whether you decide to use that spiritual power for good or bad, that's entirely based on the person and how evolved they are, how evolved their consciousness is. But this energy, it does not play around. You will feel the influence of it no matter what. It will always be there. No matter if you wish you didn't have these placements because they're too tough, they get too much at times, no matter how much you try to run away from them, avoid them, ignore them, try to look the other direction, they will always catch up to you and present you with a spiritual mirror because there is so much past life history. I mean, when we're talking about the past, the present, and the future, they are playing out simultaneously if you look at it from a different lens. But when we're looking at it from a linear time scale, you have gone through a lot of experiences, life and death experiences. You have gone through some emotional, deep, soulful experiences that your soul is carrying. And it can be through your sun, it could be through your moon, it could be through your rising, your Venus. So it's like you've had the ultimate life experience from many, many lifetimes. And this lifetime is really just like the icing on the cake, even though it can feel just so chaotic at times or just too much at times but trust me what you're going through right now is far less than what you have gone through because your now is a manifestation of the past and when we're looking at the past lifetimes the ancient lifetimes life was not as we know it to be today life was not as mundane as we know it to be today there was a lot of magic a lot of powers and abilities and when we're looking at scorpio energy pluto energy we're looking at a lot of crisis we're looking at a lot of loss grief pain trauma a lot of power power struggles uh, life and death moments life and death experiences and what goes around comes around so everything that you've been through in your various lifetimes and we've had it's just so so many i mean you couldn't even put a number on the lifetimes you've had that energy is still within you you're still holding on to those memories on a very unconscious level and it's a reflection. Whatever you're going through right now is a reflection of the past. Any karmic situations you've gone through in your childhood, in your now, what you're going to go through in the future is connected to the past. And that is why you can look at life from a very different lens in comparison to how other people look at life and how they experience life and what they do in their life. Life to you is extremely spiritual and everything happens for a reason you understand that there are no coincidences you understand that there is this greater role that you're playing in this life and that everyone holds codes and keys that can unlock many treasures and gems and within that deep ocean that you have within yourself, you'd be swimming in it, diving deep in it, doing cartwheels in it, and always searching and seeking for truth, always seeking for answers. You never let anything slide by because you're always curious, you're always on your toes. You will never stay still because there's much to learn. And that is why when people look in your eyes or when they are around you in your presence, they can feel intimidated, they can feel some type of way threatened, they can feel fear, or they can just have a dislike for you because when they are in your presence or when they're looking into your eyes they don't just see one being one soul they see sense and feel your power and the magic that runs through your veins the potency the intensity that magical alchemical energy that runs through you radiates out of you and those that are not in their power 
feel terrified, feel frightened. I mean, it's an energy that they've never experienced before. It is a force of nature and it can either create or destroy. So many of you can feel like a lot of people may just not like you. You can be the most nicest person, consciously try your best to make an effort with others and always be as respectful and kind and polite, but still people don't receive you very well and it's got nothing to do with you. It's just how they feel on a very subconscious level, how you're making them feel and you're making them feel insecure by doing nothing, just by existing. That's how powerful you are. And with so much power, you have to make sure that you live life consciously because if you misuse your power, then there will be consequences. There will be karma that you are creating for yourself that then you will have to navigate through and cleanse. And it's always important to stay in gratitude and stay humble and use that spiritual power that you have for good. Because the more good you do, with of course having boundaries, the more karma you also release. And I find that those that have been born into the incarnation of having these strong Scorpio and Pluto codes within them, the more good they are in the world, the more, the more good that they do in the world, the more that they operate consciously and from the heart space and from pure intentions, the more karma they release and that gateway, that pathway, the doorway to ascension becomes much easier. Whereas those that are stuck in the cycle of being in this power struggle or battling their own demons and not fully being able to understand that they are being their own worst enemy and those that are going in circles are constantly gonna be fighting themselves and there's gonna be just a continuous uh, repetition of the same energies, the same patterns, the same life experiences and getting rid of that density or that karma is going to be a little more challenging because they're just wrapped within it and they can't seem to find that little doorway, that little window to release it out of. So with so much spiritual power also comes a lot of spiritual responsibility and I don't think people understand the, the codes and ethics that one must follow through and then live by in order to be on the path of ascension, especially when you have such a strong consciousness in your blueprint, in your soul's uh, DNA. Many who have this energy can get consumed by the darkness and can get consumed by their demons and the shadows and, and the negative energy, the low frequency energy and, and can't escape it and become a product of it. Whereas those that are operating from their heart space or making a conscious effort to open the gateways of their heart, the gateway of ascension, they will free themselves from that soul karma, the soul cords that have been following them from lifetimes and lifetimes. And those are the ones that will make a difference, make a change, not for just themselves, but their ancestry, their ancestral line and their descendants as well. So Scorpio placements, they are not a walk in the park. They have their moments of trial and tribulation. There's a lot of tests and there's a lot that we have to get through in life, but ultimately there's much to discover, understand, integrate, embody, and learn and grow into and there's much treasure and gems that are waiting for us because there's always light at the end of the tunnel so scorpio placements share with me your scorpio placements and your experiences with your scorpio placements make sure you subscribe here on scorpio moon magic and also check out my main channel re astrology where i post a lot of forecasts horoscopes so sending you so much love and i'll see you soon